Hi folks, welcome to chapter 4 of my Torbach video series. Uh, I've had some new viewers um, sign on board which is great and I've had some questions and um, such from folks and so for those of you that aren't familiar with the videos that I've done for the past few years on home shop mach machining and CNC mills and such, I, um, I tend to like to show it all and that includes some of the, the bad things and um, the mistakes and such uh, because I think it's a more accurate representation of, of how things really happen and it hopefully helps people who are looking forward to getting into similar projects uh, avoid similar mistakes and such so uh, chapter four is uh, you know the is basically the garage um, tweaks which is that the garage was clean and sort of ready to go if you will and I uh, decided relatively last minute that the plaster ceiling here which had um, some major holes, I think you could see them from chapter one, um, from the prior homeowner um, here. We decided that now was the time to get those fixed. We also had custom windows ordered to replace these. They're, they're thermal insulated type windows, which will help with the temperature. They're not in yet, but they'll be in in a couple days. Um, but most importantly is we decided to sheetrock the ceiling, so we got most of it done. Um, we only went over to the garage door because the rest of that plaster is okay. So I've got to touch up this uh, spackle, sand it, and uh, try to get it painted before the mill comes in a couple of days. Um, did I have to do this? No, it would have been okay without it, but now was the time to do it because the mess in general of hanging sheetrock is, um, is, is it's, well, it is messy and um, certainly the sanding is, is going to create dust that I would guess even a, putting a tarp over your mill is going to make it hard to um, not sort of contaminate it if you will. So the good news is um, I'll paint this. I may try to paint the walls if I can too. Um, and I'll get the you know shop floor cleaned up here tonight or tomorrow morning. Um, will make this room much nicer. Um, I also sw switched out the old single bulb light fixture there with a nice outlet which I'm then going to mount my two um, two shop lights um, in the ceiling which I think will look nicer they'll be wired to a switch that's it'll be a, a good improvement so I guess the moral of the story is here um, you know make sure you think through and do all your work and don't compromise or, or sort of kid yourself about um, the space you're going to be putting your mill in because um, you know the mills. Uh, you know the mills on its way, and uh, I'm doing this kind of work. Um, moving on, real quick to um, well, final few things. Um, as I showed you in chapter three, I've got the Tormach tooling system um, all unpacked. What I'm going to do tonight is clean all these tools. It's really important that you get the oil off of them. And uh, what I've done before with some of this Asian import stuff is just use WD-40 and a, uh, a lot of paper towels. You can see it um, residue that's left on the plywood where these have been sitting up. They're not nearly as heavily coated as some of the um, some of the other uh, Asian import stuff, but they do need cleaned, and so I'll do that.